Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to the stream. Look at my nice, soft, sultry, sick voice. Sorry for the delay. Uh, there was, uh, uh, there was some technical difficulties. There. I believe there was a bit of a, like, a, a scheduled delay from the other team. Uh, they asked to reschedule back half an hour. Uh, so we were supposed to start at 7.30, but instead we're starting at 8 o'clock, which is why, uh, you see a little error message up on the screen, you know, just, hey, game starts at 8, just a little heads up here. I will be joined momentarily by my co-commentator for tonight, Twig, uh, who knows a hell of a lot more about this game than I do, uh, <laughs> in comparison especially. Uh, they're asking for bands, so we're going to start with a few. Uh, there we go. Here's Twig. Hello, hello. So, do you mind introducing yourself to the lovely stream? Uh, I do not. So I have been kind of an assistant analyst for the team for a while now, um, kind of helping them go over their own gameplay, show improvement here and there, giving some compositional suggestions as we go along. Um, just been kind of trying to help guide them to this to this point that where we're at. Sure. Uh, and, and how's the team team been doing in your eyes? You know, we started off strong, but I think that we're improving. Every time I see them sit down together, they get a little bit better. Right, that's what we love to hear. Um, I, I've been seeing things from a very sort of blind lens of, uh, you know, I get to watch a lot of the other games get played, but I really have no idea what's going on on a technical level, uh, as proven by my inability to pronounce certain words. Uh, but, but I mean, it looks like they're doing fantastic and, and, and listening to them communicate is, is always, you know, very nice and, and they always seem very, uh, like, cohesive, I think is the word. Sure. You know, right when we got together and started for the season, they were all individually such strong players. Everyone who's played a match, everyone who's participated, everyone has just been such strong individual players. And we've been putting in the work to try and bring that all together, try and show some coordination as a team and overcome some of the hurdles that we've come up against. Sure. What would you say has been the uh, the biggest strength and biggest drawback of this team? Well, the biggest strength is everyone's drive to do better. Um, everyone on the team, not a single person will run into a problem, run into a roadblock and say, oh, they're just better and give up on it there. Every single one of them will take that self-reflect and think what could i have done better in that situation and that's that's a trait that you can't teach that i'm very thankful that all of them share um it's been wonders working with a team that has a good proper coachable mentality on the other hand some of our struggles have been kind of bringing some of that cohesion together bringing in some of the like you know Everyone on the team feels like a playmaker. Everyone will see that opportunity, that golden opportunity to hit their alt and get a team wipe. And sometimes, you know, they used to try and go for those moments more than they would go and work with their team to try and set up moments like that. They would try and wait for an individual spotlight. And I think we've come a long way since then. I see them working together all the time. That's good. I think we're, we're going to be hopping into to game one here in, in Nepal. Uh, what, what is there to say about this map? So Nepal being a King of the Hill map, a lot of teams will opt for a more brawly mentality where you'll see a lot of the like Reapers maze as their DPS lineup. Mm -hmm. uh, Nazgold really likes to lean into the, uh, the Pharah and the Mercy. Mm -hmm. So I think that we're going to end up seeing that, but it, really comes down to what kind of space the teams can hold and how well they can survive against the sheer amount of damage that I know Nazgul is going to put out. Sure. And so jumping into things here, it looks like we've got yeah, May like and uh, Soldier on DPS, like Reinhardt on Tank and Mercy and Baptiste. They changed him up. Mm -hmm. He's a Mohawk now. I'm also <laughs> going to turn, uh, turn my general volume down a little bit because I we got into this, and I realized I cannot hear anything. <laughs> Three minute delay on stream, correct? Uh, five minutes delay. Five minutes. Sounds good. Should be 300 seconds. Hopping straight into things here. Reinhardt immediately getting as far ahead as he can, waiting for the rest of the team to catch up, try to take a little bit of space. 
the damage boost earlier from Mercy seems like they can get a little bit of damage down. Oh, the enemy seems like it's going to be a May. May toss him out of wall going away. Ram Tram should look like he's overextending a lot. Alright, already popping out the muscle form. May taking a lot of damage from Ryan. May looking like she's going to fall. We got a, a pick down on May. Um, and, and a pick down on our soldier as well. Looking like our game, looking like our game plan very split. Their uh, their Zenyatta tossing an orb down onto our May early. Enemy team running Ram Tram, Tris, Zen, McCree, or, or Cowboy, uh, May, and Anna. Uh, our May completely cornered. However, oh my God, he's able to get away. Takes out I have the to Cowboy. Nazgul there. Um, Nazgul did a wonderful job of utilizing their May and their lineup to separate our team. They came in with a flank with their Zen Kree and an off angle which is just amazing at blowing people up with the Zen Orb and the sheer damage from the Kree. And they split our focus. That's, uh, that's, that's important to note. I mean, immediately just sort of hopping into things. Do you think that, that their composition, it looks like Zenyatta barely lives one HP. It looks like they're pretty cons or not. I was going to say pretty consistently going to be splitting our team, but that May ult landing absolutely nothing. Ram Tramps are getting separated out by the wall. However, popping the ults, uh, relatively early, picking out our, our Reinhardt here. We're going to try and pick out the Ram Tramcher here. Ram Tramcher's ult's fallen off. Horned off by the wall. Back in the muscle form. Can we pick out the Ram Tramcher here before the wall falls? Not quite. Ram doing just a ton of damage. That is uh, a, an ult down from Germ here. Germ's getting revived. And looks looks like we're being taken a point here. Very well done to our team. What is what is there to say about that that little skirmish into straight into offense there? Uh, I think they did a really good job cutting out the abilities, really separating the team, making sure that the Ramatra, when he was inside the team, wasn't able to get utility from his supports as often as they could. You know, it looked like Swarm got picked out there, but he did his job of holding that shield between the supports, cutting off that line of supply of healing from the other Ramatra. I think they handled it really well. Sure, that, that's good to hear. Getting the window down from Baptiste really early, but the wall is going to be going to be separating out that. Uh, looking like the May is going to try and get clobbered out here by the rocket hammer. Egg comes down. Got a little bit of boost here. The egg is, is fallen. The wall's fallen. May low HP. That is an earth shatter down, killing the May. We're looking at the fight against the Ram Tramcher here. However, uh, Cosmic Swarm does fall as that is an ultimate enemy Ram Tramcher. However, this is a lot of damage coming down from our team. Looks like enemy Ram Tramcher ult is just going to kind of out DPS basically everybody uh, with Sophie Hat getting picked away. Looks like this is going to be a bit of a tight, uh, tight turn here. We got to turn onto a couple of uh, a Moira Ram Tramtra Lucio strapped with a Bastion DPS, uh, keeping mm. on the main. You think this is a good idea? It looks like they're opting to go for just sheer damage output to try and bully their way through the Ramatra. Uh, you know, we based our composition on the fact that they were going to have a Pharah, and oh God, since they don't, it opens it up to do so many things. That I, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, you're looking for a lot of hits down here. That, that's two down. That's an enemy May ult up, though. Okay, so Germ's fallen. But we are, we do have... Uh, the enemy team is two down. They're going to be trying to look and hopefully like, pick up the Ramatra here. Or Ram Tramtra. Um, oh, no. I've, I've revealed that I learned how to pronounce it correctly in the, in the week <laughs> in between. <laughs> my my brand. Uh, Ram's taking a lot of damage there. Getting chucked out. Probably going to get supported by the healers. A pretty quick turnout. Looks like already half HP, though. Not getting supported from the healers. There's the Zen Orb, of course, come down as soon as I say that. They're, they're holding this point at this at this specific tight choke. I'm assuming there's going to be... Yep, there's the off angle. And, and feel free to correct me if I'm using any terminology incorrectly, because I, I still don't... Oh, you're doing fine. The Bastion on a separate angle, just able to do so much chaos. And swapping to the Lucio and the Moira provides a ton of mobility and just fluff healing for the team for them to not be able to bully through it. Sure. I, and they're on a very, very tight time limit here, essentially. They, I mean, they've got to bully through this last couple seconds. And I mean, that's the that's uh, Apex Shadow popping the May ult, the Blizzard. And that's mm -hmm. 196%. That's tight. That's that's incredibly so, well done. That's good securing. Essentially, Nazgold was doing such a good job of um, bullying our team because we didn't have that mobile of a team. You know, we were basing something on kind of a mobile bunker that just moved together very, just as a unit. And a Ramatra ult just bullies that. 
Sure. So hard. So by swapping to the Lucio, swapping to the Moira, and even the Bastion, he has a little bit of mobility in his kit too with that grenade. It allows them to separate themselves from the Ramatra and continue to output damage without allowing him to slowly bleed the entire team. Sure. So if, if Nazgul recognizes this, what tank do you expect uh, probably uh, Ramatra to switch off? I expect them to fall into their comfort pick of a Reinhardt. Gotcha. Okay, so we're, we're looking probably like and Reinhardt, Barra Mercy. That is their heavy comfort. Okay. That, that is what we have prepared for. It's it's Ramatra immediately getting a pick, but getting the counter pick against the Zenyatta. Uh, they got uh, Ramtramtra, Zen, Cowboy, uh, May, and Ana. Uh, we uh, we see Soapy had immediately get picked out as the. That's two more. That's both of our healers picked out. Uh, Apex Shadow a, a little bit stuck here, a little bit trapped. The backlines as we see Cosmic Swarm on his own Ramtramtra. Let's take a second to just look at our composition. Same composition we just ran from the last round of the the May Rem um Bastion with the uh, the Moira and Lucio is, is sort of I, I guess more that that off healing instead of that more you know focus from from a May. I mean not from a May from a Mercy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The main focus of running the Mercy was to provide a damage boot boost to a long-range hit scan. If we don't need that at any point during our composition to counter their team, the Moira is just able to output so much more healing on multiple targets. Gotcha. That's a uh, that's a good note. That's that's nearly picked down the May as that as that walls up only able to provide so much utility. That looks like a capture, and that is a capture for a will. We're, we're gonna be fighting around. A this very corner. comfortable capture too. Not a lot of stress. Good. That's that's what we love to hear. But this wall is just gonna buy us. I mean, you know, a, a ton of time. As we're hopefully gonna get a pick down on, here on the Ram Tramtra. That 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 wall is, is doing a lot, but that that orb's coming straight through. That's the that's the mail come down. Absolutely tearing through the team. There's the egg. And team kill. Beautiful, absolute big round of applause from uh, for our team there. That was that was beautifully played. They they hit Q and sure killed them. Uh, going into this next fight is where things are going to get chaotic. Both teams have a couple of ultimates stored up. What what ultimate are we the most scared of right now? The enemy team going into this fight. Their win condition is what's being used right now. That Ramatra ult is their ultimate win condition for them. The Moira ult is a fairly good counter because Ramatra's nemesis form provides him 90% damage reduction on his right click. Oh my god. <laughs> Moira, Moira ignores that. Oh, of course, just naturally. Uh, lo looks like, I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Ram Tramtra did press Q and it was just more or less the McCree that just did a, you know, an absolute ton of damage. It was. The Ramatra there, he's doing a ton of damage to our team in a tight space that we're not able to escape from. But the Kree is the one who's going to be a little bit more precise in cleaning up those kills. As opposed to just doing sort of the, the general damage. I mean, we're, we're going to be fighting around this corner pretty tightly here. Uh, there, there comes the, the little vacuum thing. Uh, as we're going to be sort of fighting around this, this tight angle. I, I think, you know, as soon as we can get a pick down here, if we can come in from a different angle, we can come in from another side, we can sort of corner them and bully them, just like we're doing right here. Uh, absolutely. There's the hail from above. The enemy, uh, enemy Moira ult. Not quite able to, I think, do as much as the enemy team is wishing for. Uh, three kills there, plus, uh, they got our Ram Tram channel. There's the Deadeye, uh, but Cosmic Swarm's still able to just sort of, uh, have a lot of damage reduction there. Looks like he's gonna get picked out here, though, unfortunately. Uh, gonna be pretty tight here. I, I, looks like we might be switching up a little bit in comp. Or, or not, actually. They're, yeah, they're running the opposite direction. Never mind. Uh, there goes the, the May. I think she might be pressing Q relatively soon. There we go. And she's able to absolutely clean. That's a May counter May ult. Uh, however, two get picked out here. Uh, we're we'll forcing the issue on the point with the, the comfort pick of the Reinhardt and Cosmic Swarm. Uh, let's try and get in here, see what we can get going. Uh, just one simple knock off the ledge could absolutely have everything. There's uh, the, the Ram Tramtra and the Cosmic Swarm both fall, both Ryan. Unfortunately, nobody was left on point to clean up. That's that's very funny. A very funny way to end that of uh, of both of them just kind of slipping off the ledge there. One one. Um, so would we would we say that this was um this is a map we were favored to win or, or is this more looking for uh, something the enemy team's a little more comfortable on? 
You know, I think the, um, this map is one of the ones that the enemy team was a bit more comfortable on. I believe it was their pick first. I wasn't really paying attention. Um, it is one that we're familiar with, but I think that it was their pick. Okay. So I think obviously you know, their pick naturally, if we, if we take a round off of them. Um, I mean, this is the finals. It's, it's expected to go, uh, you know, a little bit more back and forth, a little bit more. Uh, you know, the last take. thing I wanted was a clean sweep either direction. Perfect. Then, then that's that's good. You know, one one. This is it's satisfying. Just for good commentary. It uh, makes the caster real. So let's see. I believe that that's an enemy junk right? We got an ash on our side. Let's go ahead. Let's look at these compositions here. We immediately sounds like it was the steel trap. It was the steel trap. Okay, but that is a pick down on Cosmic Swarm. However, we have indeed cornered off the. Uh, excuse me. That's revive. Uh, but they, they're not not running the pharmacy quite yet. Let's. They're really reluctant to swap to it. That's that's very interesting. And this is a very favorable fair map too, so it's an interesting choice. That, that I remember from when I used to play uh, Overwatch One. I remember playing a lot of far on this. No, oh, that's that is cornered Ramatra. That is Ramatra completely dead. I believe this is going to be probably a push then here. As it's it's a nice a May things. sandwich. <laughs> May sandwich at the turn. All right, this this looks like a very comfy, clean claim. That that rat might be falling in a matter of, of just a moment or two here. If we can climb in around the corner, it looks like we're not going to be... Let's, let's go ahead and take a look at these compositions. we got uh, May and Ash. We have Sigma on tank and then a Mercy Moira uh, support lineup. Uh, it seems like a lot of healing. Uh, sort of that, that damage boost is very, very nice. But it's... Uh, all right. Uh, it, Cosmic Swarm trapping the wrong side of the rock here. Wrong side of the wall here. But it looks like... That's three kills, two from Germ, one from Cosmic Swarm. However, their Ramatra is able to get a pick imported into the wall, completely taken out. We just have to ensure that the enemy May is not able to get. Uh, the enemy May does not exist. I'm <laughs> unable to read uh, graph. Uh, it's Ramatra, uh, Junkrat, May, Moira, and uh, Ana on the enemy team. So we're, I, you know, I'm I'm hesitant to say that that sort of the anti heals and the sleep darts are, are what they're they're really going to be using this this May for not May Ana for uh, as opposed to maybe more of the long range healing or long range damage. Am I right in this assumption or? Their goal is to try and get up close and separate us with a May wall. However, Alex or Apex is really good at paying attention to that and looking for those opportunities to turn that against them. Sure. Looks like we're just going to take the L in this fight and come back in. If you notice at the end of the fight before this one, Ramatra panicked and used his ultimate and was punished for it. Yeah. Didn't get any value. That's good. He'll probably be at about 60% right now, but that gives us one free team fight to come in and sweep it. Perfect. And, and you know, we just need one to two more uh, team fights here. If we can, uh, we can get the pick here and then he doesn't have an ult in this fight, then we're in a, a pretty comfy position. That's the Junkrat tire coming in. Let's let's see if we can hear it. There it is. No it, value. It, Nix, Cosmic Swarm doesn't kill him. That is, is very important to note. However, so Pat does get killed because he was separated from the team. Uh, Germ trading a kill in the May. Uh, our team in here. Uh, there goes uh, Apex Shadow also trading a kill down to the Moira. But I think that we we might be looking for a little bit of a push in here. Uh, getting a big round side here with Germ. Let's see what he can get. We're even contesting the point here. Knocked down the, the rat, looking for like the total mayhem. Doing a little bit of chip damage, not really that much. Ram Tram, you know, getting a little bit of damage in there. Looking big. There's the Ramatra ult. Not able to get any value because that Bob is deep in there. That wall is separating them completely. There's the May egg on the side. She's, she's walling herself in order to get away. Uh, the the Ramtramtra ult still going on, but yep, there it goes, and it falls down. Uh, not quite able to get a lot of value, able to get a lot of time, uh, but not a lot of value out of it. They just have to just be just stepping on the point pretty consistently. There's the there's our ult. There's the oh that is three down. Oh that's four down. Oh that's beautiful. That's a double ult. Uh, absolutely cleaning them away. That's it. That's uh that's that's the point uh, taken. That's another team kill for us. Uh, that's pretty nice. That's uh, that's pretty good. We did use all of our cues, though. We did, yes. Uh, that could be a bit, a bit scary going into this. We'll have to see who can build up an ultimate um, quicker. Okay, that's 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 essentially what we're looking at here. 
Mm -hmm. And there's immediately the mail come down, but not able to get any value out of it practically. Well, we already didn't pick out the King's Nightmare. However, there's a trade down on the DPS, and they've taken out our tank as well. We're just going to be trying to play, I guess, as defensively as possible. Uh, we only took out one of their DPS, and they have double, uh, double support and a tank left. But the May, May barely lives. Uh, we just need someone to get onto this point as quick as possible, unless it's going to be... Uh, you know, the That's... overtime, I don't think we're quite going to be able to make it. Not quite. Barely. Correct. Okay. Incredibly close. Incredibly close. Do you know if tonight is going to be a best of three or a best of five? Uh, I believe it's always a best of five. Okay. Make sure that everything looks right on my end. Ooh, I can also I can use my prime sub now. So I get to I get to resubscribe. Just ensuring that uh it all looks good. Usually Yeah, it should it looks totally fine. We're all good. Hello everyone. Hello everyone in chat. Um so that map, uh I'm I'm sure Twig, you can speak to it a little bit. What uh you know, if if anything, what what is there to be sort of improved on and sort of that, or do, do we just need to sort of adjust to the composition that they're running and they're just kind of bullying us and, and sort of able to get a, you know, some some frustrating positions. So to me, it seemed like there were a bit of first game nerves going at play there. Um, in early early on, Germ tried to take a duel and he dropped on their Cree and their Zenyatta mm -hmm. whenever um, whenever Nazgold pushed in on the first point, and that really separated us. Um, it's just, I think people are still kind of excited for tonight. They haven't really settled in. Uh, we overlapped some ultimates that really don't synergize well together, like the Sigma ult and the May ult. Yeah, you know, it just doesn't work together. I do think that given that first game, I think they're going to catch their breath and they're going to do well, especially now that we for sure get to decide the next map. Perfect. That's what we love to hear. And considering how close that was, I mean, 2 1. 96 to 100 percent in that last that last map there could have really gone either way it was very close um whenever joel says germ i keep hearing germa not talking about germa <laughs> very different uh that's the wrong button Let me get my displays here um It seems like there's some some very uh, cute, nice banter going on uh, in the chat. They, they, I mean, the enemy team seems to be very nice. I know we competed for League of Legends. Oh, so did we? It was uh, uh, it was it was not as nice all the time, but uh, I mean, this is some nice, friendly banter. It's it's always good to see. Uh, and, I love it. Yes, Twig, your your wife says hi in the chat. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a few members of my fraternity here. Favorite character, the Cosmic Swarm. Yes, yes. Uh, I'll be I'll be switching between username and character, so you know brain does not work too fast on cold medicine. Uh, a little sick, as we like to say, but I've gotten the final flu. Uh, but yes. So what what I think what maps are we we gonna be expecting here from from our team? Like what are our comfort maps? That we can sort of be, uh, assuming we're going to be. Well, it, yeah. it sounds like we're moving into a hybrid map, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw King's Row come out. Okay. That's one that we're very practiced on, we're very comfortable on. However, Nazgold is very practiced and comfortable on that as well. Um, I do think it is going to be our strongest map when it comes to the hybrids. Sure. Uh, King's Row, a very nice map, a, a personal favorite of mine. It's my sister's favorite map. As a as a Widowmaker main, she uh. She really loves it. It is a fun map. widow map. So. And if we do see King's Row, um, I would not be surprised if we saw Morbzy on the other team run Widowmaker for a little bit. All right. That would be uh that would be interesting. So uh, Wid Widow on this map is is certainly something. We can see some insane damage. Excuse me, insane damage on this get put up. Uh my my oldest sister and I have been playing since she started playing in season two. I started playing season three, as my little icon, uh, you know, indicates. It's been a it's been a long journey of I'm still terrible and she's phenomenal, uh, which is you know unfortunate. 
Here it is, King's Row, uh, perfectly as you called it, Shreg. Uh, are they switching sides? Are they playing? Is is red side defense? Red side's usually going to be offense. However, sometimes there's a spectator bug, um, and we don't really know what side we're going into right away. Okay. From the spectator's point of view, they can pick and choose as much as they want. But it looks like we are going to be attacking first. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. This. <laughs> I appreciate that it now says not Oonix and not Nazgul. Because, I, yeah, it's <laughs> not. Uh, much better this way all right so as far as as far as team compositions go what are we to be uh expecting best of seven wonderful <laughs> hello well i'm not really too sure what nazgold is going to be doing obviously they have that comfort fair pick that they'll pull out if they're really struggling mm -hmm. um Otherwise, Morbzy is very comfortable on almost any hit scan out there. If he's going to do well in Widow, he's going to stay on it. Otherwise, he'll probably run a Cassidy or an Ash himself. Those are his favorable picks. Our team, I would not be surprised if we started out with the Mercy Bat, um, either a Soldier or an Ash, and then a May and Reinhardt. I would not be surprised if we ran that. Um, it's what I'm hoping for, because I think it's going to be our strongest. Let's see it. Let's, uh, let's see if that's what they led straight into. Um... You've been, you've been calling these before. You know, I told my girlfriend this would be like an hour, hour and a half. I did not realize this was best of seven. And I was like, oh, we'll be fine. <laughs> like, you know, if it goes three, two, it's fine. This is we'll, uh... I I was unsure going into it. So... Looks like we're opting for the higher um, healing with the Moira. Let's, yeah, let's, let's take a look at this. We're looking at May, Reinhardt, Ash, Mercy, Moira. Um, I know in Overwatch 1, uh, Mercy could have put out a lot of healing, but I, I, to the best of my knowledge, she's been somewhat dialed back a little bit she was fairly overtuned for a while um i myself am not fully caught up to date on the patch notes for a good portion of time there she was able to heal two times two targets who was who were under 50 percent hp which meant she could keep a tank alive almost indefinitely um i do believe that they have scaled that back a little bit however her damage boost has been untouched since season two and that is where her utility comes in Season two of Overwatch two or of Overwatch one? Overwatch one. Oh my god! All right, hopping straight into things here. They're immediately coming out of the coming out of the sides, coming out of the woodworks. Um, seeing a little bit of poke damage come down. We got we got Ram Tramp Trap, Mercy. Uh, the May immediately falls. We're gonna be hoping to push, uh, push a little bit. Um, but Morbzy on on that Reaper. Uh, Ram Tramp in the muscle form, protected by the egg. Uh, looking at the Reinhardt, barely missing a charge. But uh, kind of hold them over this choke so that we can try and get uh, that capture. That's one pip with the capture. Let's let's see. The, the Reaper is on the point. There he goes, and he falls completely. We're looking at, uh, at uh, if, you know, Moira uh, and Anna as the two uh, healers here. And there's the, the payload immediately popped almost as fast as possible. Uh, incredibly speedy from our team. Uh, in under a minute, they were able to, to pop the payload uh, and get it to start moving. Very decisive fights. That's something that teams worked on is recognizing when they can take space. You know, they get that early pick and they are immediately capitalizing. They're in there. That is their space and they know it. It's it's absolutely beautiful to see just the, the sheer amount of damage just coming down as fast as possible. You can literally hear the, the, the Mercy, not Mercy, Moira E just taking away damage. And I think that's that's very uh, sort of indicative of... Uh, of how how far the team has come they just know you know you throw out these abilities you hit these things you know you're, you're getting this little bit of chip down uh, there's the widow maker here it is uh huge shout out to my my eldest sister who's i guarantee not watching uh, there's there's the mercy not mercy may q too many letters in this game uh, but absolutely, I get a lot of damage down there. Uh, Apex Shadow getting the pick down on the, the Ana. And this little fight come down from the, with the Widowmaker is uh, taking away the Venom Mine, which is going to decide this fight effectively. Uh, if that Venom Mine doesn't pop and the damage just isn't there from the Widowmaker without having that scope, without having those charge shots, uh, you're just you're not able to kind of put out that DPS, which is which is too bad. This, this payload has effectively almost not stopped moving. Uh, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I actually don't believe it has stopped moving yet. I don't want to curse anything, but we're almost at the second checkpoint here. 
Which would be, uh, Coming into this next fight, the Ramatra is going to have his ultimate. Okay. So that's so. And it's nanoed. Ooh. It is. It is. Yep. 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 There's the ultimate. I think. They did a great job kiting it out. Ryan held his shield, which blocks the damage, which makes it take a lot longer. And Apex was able to get out of the radius as soon as he could. Oh gosh. That's uh, that's the second checkpoint down. That's a revive come down. Uh, they still have uh, an ult and a half left, effectively. Uh, but you know, three popped, obviously. <laughs> the widow in the in the skies, but just not able to make enough come. There's the Ramatra finally switched off of. Uh, and is the, is the, is the widow gonna fall again? No, she's able to pick out Apex Shadow. Um, it's quite funny. With with no ult from the the, the Ram Tramtra, uh, widow. Oh, immediately able to pick out Soapy Hat. Uh, looks like they're, they're able to clean up a little bit here. We still have two, three alive. We're just going to kind of work our way backwards here. Uh, and, and effectively... Oh, there's the snipe from Germ. That's that's a very, very good shot from the Widow. I mean, those shots are, are obviously going to naturally happen. Uh, and it's... Uh, it's You know, that, that payload there, you know, 31 meters. They're about double the distance to go. Let's... Let's see what happens. We are going to be fighting against the, the enemy Reinhardt's uh, obviously a comfort pick from, from the enemy team here. No pharmacy, which uh, is good to see. Is, is Morbs going to be the one who's going to be playing the pharmacy? Ooh, oh. we, we're, seeing, we're seeing the egg come down here. I think that, that she's almost completely trapped. Yeah, she's trapped on the other side of the wall. The, the Widowmaker charge shot goes completely wide. Uh, that is indeed the May falling. We have the Q from our own May. However, pinned into all pops the egg earlier. This is a fight between the Reinhardts. Not unless our May has anything to say about it. Pinned completely into a wall. Uh, throws in almost effectively, unless it's a nano. That is indeed a nano. That is the Earth Shatter. And that is three kills down on our team. Uh, Soapy Hat in the skies, looking just to get away and, and actually take a reset. Entirely Pink Nightmare. Uh, sort of standing by, waiting for the rest of the team to regroup here. Uh, what are we? What are we scared of here? At the, at the sort of you know, we're, we're we're in the last stretch here. We're doing a lot of damage, putting a lot of numbers up on the board. What's what are we? So we have a ton of time left. All we're doing is we're just trying to get our ultimates, trying to pick them out. I'd be worried if that widow was able to keep one of us dead every single push, but it doesn't look like she's really able to do that. They have to use two to three alts every fight, and just just to get us down, we haven't used a single one yet. That's I mean that's absolutely beautiful. That's I mean that's a mailed off the bat, and their may is immediately killed. Uh, that, uh, this looks like a very, very decisive fight for us. That's also the Reinhardt dead. They just have double, they have DPS double support. And I don't think that they're gonna have enough to be able to do much with it here. Moira fades away to, to absolutely who knows where. Um, and the Widowmaker's still in play. A wall hack's probably coming out relatively soon. But I mean, that's a, that's a, a you know, a damageless ultimate. Uh, while it does give a ton of information, uh, it might not be able to do enough for us. There's the Symmetra coming down. Something that I was uh, I was thinking in the back of my head I was afraid of on King's Row, but not not this late in the game. As Metro is completely picked out by the the Moira right click orb. Uh, there's the charge, not able to do much, do much, able to go a little bit wide. As as we're, I think we're gonna be looking for just a, a Q here from May. Absolutely, exactly what it just did. Um, not quite able to get uh, probably as much value as we would have wanted. Uh, Apex Shadow is still trapped a little bit deep. Pink Nightmare trapped a little bit deep. All right, we're, 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 we're getting pushed back a little bit. We put the payload in a little bit deeper. Well, much, much deeper. I mean, it's, it's, it's 70 meters on this map, if I'm correct. Something, Something like that. Uh, and, you know, enemy team, as, as you said, they're, they're ripping through their ults as, as we're just able to poke them down. Um, we're, we're Unfortunately, we did use all of our ultimate economy in that fight. Sure. And, uh, you know, we, we almost got the payload there, so I think, you know, one, one last little push, I think we're... We're in a pretty comfy position. That's a Bastion. When did they give Bastion the grenade? I saw a grenade come down. I, I, I really thought they had a junk rat for some reason, but it didn't quite look right. Uh, that is that is our Reinhardt coming down. He does have the Earth Shatter, though. Uh, Earth Shatter barely, you know, taken out as the enemy team. Uh, completely able to rip through our team with the, with the just Bastion, just absolute DPS. Uh, they did pop Deadeye, and they did pop the, uh, the beam from... From Moira. Did you see a nano during that fight? 
Uh, I could not tell if Nano came down. I, I presume it was probably a Nano Bastion that was able to do that, you know, that just sheer amount of damage. Uh, but I'm not, you know, 100% sure on that. I'm not positive either. I think going into this next fight, we're looking at the Bastion Nano for their ultimates, but we're coming up on one here, which can um, buy us a lot of time. And, and especially, you know, this, this payload is rounding this corner. And, and if the Ana pops or if the, uh, the Bastion pops, then they're in a very bad position. There, there goes, there goes three, there's the Ana and the Bastion. However, we've instead lost our, our DPS and our tank. Uh, we're looking a little bit here. If we can get that pick, we get that pick. That's the McCree down. Then we're looking literally just to kill this Reinhardt. He's going to try and contest the point as much as humanly possible. We are on overtime here, so we have to constantly keep a foot on the point here. But, they, I mean, they're going to be trying to pop as many abilities as they can pretty consistently. I, I think that they're in a very, very dicey state. Uh, we do lose Apex Shadow. We do have the... Um, if, if he's able to get back, I don't know if he's going to quite be able to get there. That is the Earth Shatter. Uh, that is the, uh, the the barrage from from Bastion. Cosmic Swarm, I think, falls there. That, that I believe may have just been our last member. That is round one complete at 64 meters and 71 centimeters. Zero seconds left on the clock. So we just got to time them out uh, at, at a little bit before that. Absolutely, and I think that's possible. King's Row isn't a map that you always see teams complete all the way. The first point is a really strong choke for teams to hold. We're pretty good at it. Um, however, the other team is really good at exploiting weaknesses as well. And I think, I There's think that's plenty of opportunities for us to stall for time on defense. Uh, your wife says she thinks you sound cuter over screen. Oh, you responded. I Sorry. saw that. <laughs> Apex doesn't lose on pay. Oh, King's Row. I thought that was Korea. It's like definitely Ohio. The opposite. Well, of he's Korea. never played on Korean servers. He never loses. Exactly. I have a hundred percent win rate on Chinese servers, in League of Legends. So I've played one game and I won. Hey, hold on to that. That's. I'm never going back to China. Or I'm never playing League of Legends back in China. I'll go back to China. <laughs> Uh, looks like we got we have a pretty defensive comp here with the Bastion, Baptiste, uh, Mercy, Ram Tramtra, and May. May obviously gonna wall off that you know that area immediately. Bap with that window, that way we can hold that choke. Uh, May not only can provide a lot of pressure on the front line and make them cautious about taking space, but she can also provide a ton of pressure on Widowmakers. Sure. And that's I mean I think that's what we're gonna be looking for because you know Widow on offense on this map can be incredibly powerful. And let's let's I mean let's see what we've got here. Uh, that's I'm uh, making the, the the fade come out really early. The the revive not quite able to get completed. Uh, however, that is a double kill down on the, the tank and DPS, getting that that widowmaker out early, and that's immediately killed down on the support. We're gonna hopefully be looking for a kill down on the yep perfect down on the Symmetra. Symmetra on offense can be quite strong here, just occupying a lot of space and, and team, creating unpredictable approaches as well. Enemy team notably losing that first push. Uh, instead of sort of slow pushing it, they're sort of getting absolutely just, you know, blown out before uh, before too much is really able to happen. Which is, I mean, you know, it, kudos to them for, for playing that so aggressively, but they seem to backfire a little bit. That is a sneak There's that may providing pressure. Okay, looks like, looks like we got a big fight here on the side. Looks like, uh, that's the Ram Tramp to strain the muscle form. Throwing out abilities, throwing out, uh, uh, not a wall though. Uh, we are going to see the egg come down and just seeing, that's the immortality field. The immortality field not popped immediately. Uh, possibly doing a little bit of, a uh, little bit of havoc here. However, there's a lot of kills down on the Moira. Uh, very well done. Uh, from there, I think they're just going to go ahead and pick this up here. But, but notably, uh, you know, they spent a full extra 60 seconds capturing that payload. Which, uh, you know, if, if I'm correct, loses them whole over 60 seconds in, in the long run because they, I mean, they just captured it now at, at 2.15. Um, which does not lose them 60 I don't understand how time is losing. He's, he's blocking. You gain the same amount of time for capturing points. Okay, that makes sense. So it's a set amount of time that you'll gain. However, us holding there for another 60 seconds is a 60 seconds that we won't have to hold them later on. Perfect, okay, so I do understand. I apparently just can't do basic addition, which is less of a surprise. Um, I think it was 90 seconds, actually. This 
devour them is possibly one of the most metal quotes. That's that's a bastion in the skies there. Trying to get his and there's there's the wall. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Hello. The germ killed someone with some ability that made my screen very glitchy. And there's the Smetra wall. Absolutely means we just cannot, or really more or less, fight this push. Unless we absolutely can, and we just pick two of them for. I apparently forgot how Smetra walls work. And there's the there's the uh, the ult down from the enemy. Oh my gosh! Three kills with the Ram Tramtra ult. Uh, and there's the fourth. You know, However, like, seeing a ton of utility and long-term cooldowns for the other team to hold that, whereas we still have four of our ultimates. Oh yeah, it's, I mean, it's, I, I, we're absolutely playing this economy very, very, very tightly, very tight to the chest. Um, you know, when, whenever we want to stop them at a point, we, we fully have that ability. So this is more of a uh, of a pick the choke point to hold them at. Tramford coming down here, looking like most likely, you know, something along the lines of a, of a Q with a lot of support. Now that the anti's out, uh, and there it is immediately, like I called it. Uh, we're going to be seeing uh, probably just as, as much as possible uh, Apex Shadow get a little bit of damage on it. And a lot of value out of that Ram Tramford, able to push them back very far off the point. Seeing, uh, seeing Germ just kind of tearing through the enemy team here. Uh, looking in the skies, trying to pick out that Soldier. Soldier, 1 HP. Gets healed though, last possible second. Uh, soldier, absolutely, and now he's picked. And now we're looking to fight up against, yep, there we go, and there goes the Moira's though, this Ram Tramtrum does not have any healing. Uh, this is just a Ram v Ram battle. I apparently lost, there's the Ram battle. Uh, th there's a Bastion in the mix now, but the Bastion just completely trying to fight into a wall, uh, and stuck between a wall and a wall. The rock and a hard play, it's not a wall and a wall. Uh, anti on the Ram, and, and Ram actually does the fall here, as, as well as the like, Shadow does. Looking here, probably, you know, a Baptiste wall is, is going to be coming down here. We just have to hold them at this this last uh, point here. Just let, can't let them progress 64 meters in, in three and a half minutes. Uh, and, you know, in, in theory, this is the this is the best choke, you know, being at the end. Uh, being able to sort of take them through this double window set and then the, the, in the heights here. There's the wall come down. Looks like we're going to be trying to play this incredibly defensively, trying to stop them dead in their tracks right here, put the payload right in this position so we can fight around it. Uh, there, there's the muscle form come down very early. That's a lot of healing come down the room. That's a pick down on Soapy Hat. And Apex Shadow's fallen as well. Uh, a Cosmic Storm's looking pretty low on HP here as well with Germ. Uh, picked out by Morbs on the Tracer. Uh, there goes uh, a Q pressed from uh, Soldier. Looks like they might have it here unless uh, we can get a, a very, very fast contest. At this point, we're going to be trickling in regardless, so... They did a wonderful job countering us, swapping to things that are going to be strong against our picks. Like the Bastion um, did well against the Ramatra, holding him back, but just outputting that damage, but swapping to the more mobile and smaller target Tracer at the end really, really won that for them. Very understandable. Here we can see uh, exactly what happened with that, that muscle form play. Just, just absolutely insane team kill. Uh, utilizing that Ram Tramtrol to the best of their ability. Absolutely just kind of, that's the wrong button. Absolutely util <laughs> utilizing that, uh, their abilities there uh, very, very well. The enemy team playing that Ram Tramtrol composition very uh, strongly. Uh, I will remind everyone, uh, if you do have a Twitch Prime sub um, or any bits, uh, to give them to twitch.tv slash phoenixboy219, as we still have no idea how to cash out the money that's in this account, because there's no bank account linked to it. So just give them to me instead. It's, just, it's way better that way. Trust me, kidding. Uh, if you wanna if you wanna subscribe to Ohio Wizzy Esports, I'm I'm sure we'll figure out one day how to pay the people who run this stream. Uh, two zero. I mean, it is it is best of seven, so it's first of four. Um, We're really getting a feel for the team. Um, kind of seeing what their comfort picks are gonna be. We're gonna take five here so that we can. I assume, make a game plan going forward. That's what they should be doing. Sure. Um, I think the next match is going to be really exciting. I'm going to stretch my legs for just a moment. I will be back. I got you. Oh, I can feel my back just like the spine just like shifting. Everyone is here on stream at the moment. Uh, let me know if the audio quality uh, sounds all good or if I, if I sound weird. Um, if you let me know, then we can, we can optimize the stream, you know, absolutely much as possible. That's what we want to do for all y'all. Uh, we want to make sure that everything, everything sounds 
nice and crystal clean uh, as I am uh, I'm just I'm scrolling through here and uh, ensuring that I've claimed all of my Twitch Prime stuff. Remember, if you have an Amazon Prime account, uh, you can uh, go on over to, to Twitch Prime, uh, subscribe to Ohio oh, Wesleyan Esports, subscribe to twitch.tv slash phoenixboy 209 uh, which is moi. Uh, which, you know, of, of course, it'd be it'd be very appreciated, uh, as I as I am a fellow streamer. That's that's one of the reasons that I do this. It is out of my love of the heart, a love of the heart for the game, uh, and and my love for the the Overwatch team. They, they've absolutely been, you know, incredible to work with. And, and the time that I've done casting and in all the casting, you know, things that I've done, it's been uh, they're, they're by far the, the most easygoing to work with, the most uh, fun to work with. Uh, they're sort of just always there for everything. So I, just, I do really just want to say a, uh, a big shout out to them. Uh, they're, they're truly just uh, just phenomenal. Uh, but I think I think on that lovely note here, as I, as I flip through and try to claim as much stuff with the Twitch Prime as possible, we're gonna be uh, seeing what's gonna be happening here. Down to zero. Uh, but that does not mean by by any stretch of the imagination that we are out. Uh, we, uh, you know, we're, we're 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 playing these matches incredibly tight and incredibly well. Uh, you know, these are all very very close, and I think that that's sort of the the key of what we want to remember is happening here. Uh, that uh, that these are all these are all incredibly close games, and that's what uh. That's what we need to keep in mind. Uh, that that you know, it, even if we are uh, not necessarily winning all these matches, that we are uh, that are incredibly in it. Okay, cool. We're good there. No idea what took there. here and and i want to ask everyone in chat especially you know uh all the people who are who are consistently here how how are your days going uh and if you're if you're enjoying the stream if everything's if everything's up to code for you um and and i do want to say especially after this uh after this stream we will be in the off season uh as it will be uh summer uh and you can find uh i don't know if any of the uh the people from the overwatch team are going to be uh, streaming, but the um, I will be, of course, uh, and you can find everyone uh, here if, if they want to be found in the uh, Ohio Wesleyan eSports server. I'm a little dumb. I typed a thing in the wrong box. Looks like we're taking five here. They're they're all they're chatting this out, uh, seeing sort of what they're gonna be looking into. I try not to hear anything of what they say, so that way I don't have any influence uh, on anything uh, in my casting. At least I, I don't want to have any influence, especially on them, which you know is probably helpful that I have no idea what's going on ever. Uh, uh, but I, I don't want to, especially you know, accidentally say something and get us in trouble or anything. Uh, they can't hear me when they're in the game, and, and I can't hear them basically ever unless they are Oops. got ah. yourself a nice pair of noise canceling headphones i said if people want to donate bits donate them to me oh, okay. <laughs> our our coaches uh seemingly getting uh mildly entertainingly at least amused or annoyed with me that we are collecting bits <laughs> i don't know if anyone can hear him but he looked at me with the most bewildered look I've ever seen him, and he was, and just said, "We don't collect bits. What are you doing?" So, uh, <laughs> sorry, force of habit. Welcome back, Twig. <laughs> it's... I think. Yep, I'm here. Oh, fantastic! Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna move the keyboard a little. <laughs> he looks so confused. <laughs> Thank you, Twig, for the six bits. 
I I checked the revenue the other day, and we have like a weird amount. Like, because people have like actually subscribed with Twitch. Like, because I subscribe with my Twitch Prime like all the time. And so. Which is really weird with their payouts as well, unless you're um, a partnered channel and you're only affiliate. They wait an extra three months after you hit the hundred dollar goal and then they pay it out to you so they can collect insurance on that money in their bank accounts for an extra three months which or not insurance but interest yeah interest i'm which is fine um i mean I've, I've had to deal with twitch's garbage for years of just like i'd randomly get a paycheck in the middle of august and i'm like i haven't streamed in months why did i just get you know four hundred dollars or whatever it's like oh well absolutely like, all this is stacking up I'm like okay well great thank you I'm not going to say no to money. I just wish they treated their content better. Oh treated gosh, their it's creators. It's, I, I've been streaming since 2015. I got affiliated in 2017, 2018. And I've got, I, you know, I've gotten a number of payouts. But it is just... It, it is always the most strange thing of just like, Oh yeah, you got paid out. It's been four months or five months since you've streamed or made any money. But we're giving you the money now. Like thanks. And uh, yes, a reminder: any money that you do give to this channel will sit in a nebulous void for Kyle to vaguely glare at me at that we have accidentally earned. Um, who knows? Maybe it'll just go mysteriously missing one day, and my bank account will mysteriously have an appropriately proportioned charge of just increase. <laughs> who knows? Who's to say? Hypothetically, I'm the only one that knows how this stuff works on the back end. So this is not fraud, as I am openly admitting it. Uh, <laughs> so going into the next map, Circuit Royal, um, I believe. What are we What are we expecting from Circuit Royale? As we have swapped uh, Pink Nightmare for Peach Fluff, I may note. I see that now. Um, going into this map, this is a very fair, friendly map. A lot of the skyboxes are open to flank over some of the buildings in the first point. Um, We'll just have to see what they do. I, I think they're going to lean on that Bastion a lot more than we were expecting them to. Mm -hmm. And it'll be up to us to kind of find a counter to that. Which, which I think is, uh, you know, is very understandable. Let me just quickly uh, just do that real quick. Um... Uh, you know, absolutely nothing has happened in chat. Uh, no one needs to, to notice anything, but uh, if we do this right, you know, this, this they is the won't least, even I, know what least I can do for myself. Uh, so, so looking into this map, we're, we're running uh, Kiriko, uh, Moira, with a Sojourn May and Tramtra setup. Um, hopefully, you know, this is this is relatively anti. What's her name? Farah. It can be. Um, the May. It all depends on whether or not you're able to hit your shots, but I have seen Apex snipe fares out of the air um, more often than not. And Germ is absolutely disgusting on Sojourn, so this could be a very good match. <laughs> oh, the shot's immediately coming out. It's shooting at nothing. I thought there was a fight. <laughs> All right, let's see what we really have ourselves into. We're looking at Rap Trampter, May, Moira on the enemy team. Uh, additionally, a Widowmaker on Morsi coming in the back line. Their last pick, Ana, a double snipers. They're, they're playing this, essentially just shoving their face into the enemy composition, saying, what are you going to do about it? Uh, the answer is uh, Morbzi is going to fire a lot of very fast and very angry bullets uh, and cause a lot of trouble for us. There's the anti-heal. And um, there's three down right there. Oh, not, not the best opening, but it happens. Uh, Germ charging up that railgun here. Uh, no, no, uh, Phara off the immediate bat here. Uh, it, it almost seemed like they were fighting expecting pharmacy. Um, but not quite materializing that means. What on earth is that green orb? Oh, is that a. That is Sojourn's tactical ability. It, it creates an area of slowing that also does damage. Sure. That. New, these new abilities confuse me. Alright, seems everybody's dead again. Uh, we're switching up a little bit into an Ash Zenyatta thing here. 
Uh, probably gonna be staying on May continually. Uh, but we're gonna be looking just to sort of, uh, sort of more gently push uh, instead of you know what we've been doing, which is which is feeding them a lot of ultimate charge. You know, uh, yeah, obviously eight eliminations in the right hand right. is not ideal. Uh, yeesh, that's a going into this. We're gonna see the enemy team have a pretty nice alt economy built up. Yeah, that's what I was presuming. Uh, oh, there's immediately the Ram Tramp Drill. Oh, he's dead. All right, that's what we love to see. Ram Tramp Drill falls. However, we're going to trade tank for tank. Ram Tramp should see posing in the May Wall. Oh, not see posing, just stuck. Uh, the egg is going to come down at a very, very large amount of health, which means most likely a trap is going to come down, and that's a kill. Uh, that is two kills. Their ult economy uh, didn't get popped, but we are uh, pushing to the next location. The Winston, I guess, was just for a deep distraction, immediately swapping off to the Diva here. We uh, did take their win condition from them. Their Ramatra ult was instantly wasted. Us having that Senyata allows us to blow through the higher HP targets. That's that's very good to hear. Uh, it is woo okay. It's it is a percentage extra damage with the Senyata, correct? Yes. That is, that is three eliminations from us. Peach Bluff looking like going to be falling here. Barely, and, and Cosmic Swarm also in DJ fall. I'm not quite a team kill, but effectively one. Uh, putting us in a suboptimal position. However, we do have three ults. Uh, almost if Sobe had ults up as well. And Cosmic Swarm. Sobe had ult will be a really nice counter to the next Ramatra ult. I expect them to hold on to it till then. They might get pressured out of it sooner, but that is ideally what we would want to use that for. I'd be unsurprised as well. I, I mean, that's how at least I, I tend to use Zen ult in the past of using that, you know, big anti AoE, anti May ult. Anti oh my gosh, that's an early kick. That's Bob come down. That is uh, enemy uh, laser beam come down as well. Let's see what happens here. The, you know, Ramatra just not quite pulling out that shield. And that's the Ramatra uh, field come down. That's the May wall come down. Is this the. I'm going to wall. Is this the push we can be looking for? Cornering the Ram Trapter into that corner. Uh, really making my heart stop here. They're able to bring it across the finish line here. There's the enemy May ult, and there's the, the counter with the Transcendence. It's a great use of the Transcendence. Unfortunately, we won't have it for the next Ram ult, but we will be able to utilize the Discord. That is that is perfectly okay. As, you know, I think the, the most important thing here, more or less, is staying alive. Uh, there we go. Crossing that finish line. I can see... Kyle's heart start beating again. Uh, he literally looks like he's... He, he, I, I think he's doing okay. He may have chewed through a finger. Or three. I have faith in the team. Oh, I have faith in the team, too. I, uh, I'm more worried about Kyle's mental state than, than the team at the moment. Because I think, I think <laughs> they're absolutely tearing this up right now. Uh, that's a beautiful Earth Shatter. Absolute four-man Earth Shatter. Cosmic Swarm tearing the enemy team to shreds. That's three down with just the removal of Soapy Hat. Looking at that charge behind the wall, making that space for Little Maker. However, that is the enemy Ram Tramster ult. Just getting out of the way is all our team can be asking for right now. Uh, that shield blocking as much damage as possible. I know that's going to be very, very slow. That damage reduction is going to go ahead and pop away. Apex Shadow, that's the... That is Ram Tramster down. That is uh, a very, very favorable trade for the enemy team. As they're the ones who get to reset to the enemy to the front lines first. But we're the ones who are still holding on to our tank. Uh, as late into the game as we can, uh, as we're uh, making sure that that payload is not going to be pushing back anytime soon. They're getting relatively okay, come on. Now. They're getting relatively deep in here. That's a reload from the Zen. That's charging, charging. Uh, not quite able to hit anything through there, at least to the best of my knowledge. And that's that's the orb of Discord slipping around that corner. Into the Rhine V Rhine now. Okay, that's that's what we like to see. Hammer v hammer, Ryan v Ryan. You know, let the let the bigger, bigger Swedish man come out on top. And there, there, Reinhardt immediately falls. The the May is behind, uh, dueling with the Zen. There's the transcendence to save the Zenyatta, which you know is, is you know uh, certainly a play. We can talk about that in just a second. If the enemy uh, May ult comes down, there gets the pick down from the double on the. Yep, there's triple down off from that May ult, getting a ton of value. Uh, give let's up see what the team is here. So, let's see what they're able to materialize in 30 seconds. Unfortunately, the Zen being pressured to use his ult there allowed their team to get a completely free team wipe with the mail. And that, and that, mo that mercy pick absolutely hurts. That, that may be sealing our fate here. 
Mercy I agree. To get that, uh, that tap down on the Zen. Might be able to do something here. Might be able to push into a little bit of overtime. If the enemy team makes Rhino a touch. catastrophic misplay. That's a good May ult. And that's a good, that's a very good, um, ult down from Peach Love's well from Kiriko. That is the anti down in the, down in the Rhine. Uh, we're just, we're, we're losing our, our members here of our team. I, I don't know if she's quite able to keep the enemy team, or our team, our team alive for, for long enough. Uh, you know, Ryan just getting cornered here, getting kicked out. Overtime's gonna wrap at 77 meters, 10 centimeters, uh, and one checkpoint pass. Not too bad, almost to the second checkpoint. Uh, but that does put us in a, in a tight position. Uh, Very tight position. I have seen teams full hold on this point, but I think that that is gonna be uh, an uphill battle for us. Literally and figuratively. The, the map is uphill. <laughs> it's true. Uh, you know, I think I think this is gonna be relatively tight. You know, we're gonna need to hold very aggressive, <laughs> very aggressive. We're gonna need to play very very defensive picks. Um, unless... I'd, I'd like to see a Hanzo come out because against their composition. Uh, Hanzo just provides a ton of utility. You know, they have two snipers who like sitting scoped in. Uh, they're not really strafing side to side a lot. And Hanzo is just able to get those free picks shooting down a choke line um, with that. However, nobody on our team has practiced with the Hanzo, so I don't think we're going to see that. Very understandable. Hanzo is a very, very difficult pick. Um, that, that sonar air will give a ton of information. But, um, Sure. Cute, cute little banner interaction here. I think hopefully that'll be setting the tone for things. As it's a you know, good cute little banner interaction. Let's uh, let's get a good cute little match. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, we're looking at Soldier and May uh, into Kiriko Zenyatta and that Reinhardt as well to go with the tank. It's gonna be another Ryan here Ryan match. That's gonna be a lot about dodging those E's, playing tightly. Uh, that that may well come down relatively early to block off just that sort of you know very very light choke. Uh, we have the Orb of Discord already down on the enemy Reinhardt, playing, you know, like I said, relatively defensively, just trying to get a lot of poke damage up. Not, you know, they're, they're playing relatively squishy comp here with, with four people, very squishy. Uh, that's, and that's immediately, that's that's one Fallen, uh, knocking the Rhine on the back side of the wall, enemy side of the wall. Uh, they're, you know, obviously we're not able to grab that wall the same way. There goes Morbzy. You know, this is, uh, this is an, a very early, very defensive, Constantly hear those flicks coming down from May, looking like she's just trying to get that damage down. Those right clicks. Uh, they they have now they have the junk rat. They just switched off the the widow here. Looks like they're probably gonna try and pierce the back line with, with that May, Anna, uh, Moira, and Reinhardt. If they're switching off of double sniper, then that's probably a good sign. That's enemy Reinhardt going for a charge on our Reinhardt. Ryan versus Ryan. Our Ryan comes out on top. He's gonna watch the total mayhem of the junk rat. The junk rat's gonna do a lot of damage. Total mayhem completely whips, completely going wide. Absolutely, they're, they're, they're trying to push the payload here, but they're not quite able to get it. They're just gonna be fighting on this bridge. The, the Maywall just gonna be trying to look for a lot of that coverage. Enemy Maywall honestly helping us with coverage despite you know, really focusing them on a choke, allowing them to regroup. But I don't think it's going to be enough. That is gonna be a lot of damage coming down the enemy Reinhardt's. He needs to be able to deal here. Uh, they're trying to fight his forward, just sort of on like a very big group, essentially trying to push into the rest of our enemy team. One May Q, and all of a sudden they're toast. However, May is actually gonna be falling here. Let's, let's see, that's gonna be, uh, Reinhardt taking a lot of, that's not Reinhardt taking a lot of damage, sorry. That's directed behind us, the Moira taking a lot of damage. Uh, the charge to try and get out of the line of fire. Shield coming up, that's Ryan versus Ryan battle again. Trying to trigger those steadfast blocks. That's the Earth Shatter killing enemy Ryan from the Soapy Hat. That means enemy team, uh, there's the laser come down, and I think they're gonna be just trying to get a lot of damage down here. Trying to get a lot of push here. <laughs> enemy team is smart and they waited from our Suzu from our uh, Kiriko to use that ultimate because that can it's such a saving ability they could have gotten our whole team out of a mail the invulnerability thing right yes does that reset the timer on the freeze uh it will completely remove all cc from a champion wow. so a sleep a stun anything their whole team's Reinhardt shattered you hit them all they stand up wow very powerful ability. I, I presume it has a very long cooldown though. 
Uh, I think 12 or 15 seconds, okay, yes. That's, that's so nice. if you're holding on to something like a mail or a Ryan Shatter, you want to wait to see it before you use your ability. Sure. Oh, there's the junk rat tire coming down. Disguised with the rat. I'm sorry, disguised see, with the rat. See, the Suzu is able to save um, two people there. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. You know, the, the egg has just come down. There's the wall come down. The, the rat trap on the side. Uh, Ryan Shatter charging the back lines here. There's the Kitsune ult. <laughs> We're in a bit of a sticky situation here. Uh, we just have to be you know, constantly standing on that point here. Uh, unless we're going to lose it. Uh, we were just not quite able to get that. Not quite. That's unfortunate. You have someone in the channel to ban. Come on, man. I, you're making me open a whole nother tab. Why, <laughs> why do people have to get into our chat? Hold on. Slash bam. Making me open a whole nother tab. So that way I can ban someone. How incredibly rude. 3 0 Nazgul. Currently. Is this, this going to be the reverse sweep? We'll just have to see. I think the team's a little shooken right now. Uh, banning new Queen Street, so it looks like we're going to be on a push map. Not sure which map is our favorite. I know the overall consensus in the Overwatch community is that push map is the least favorite of the game modes right now. It doesn't seem really fair. We'll just one? have to see which one we pick. Yes. Ugh, I hate that game rush. In the five I think people hate it because it's new, but I think it's just it's it's I, I, I found that uh, at least in watching it rolls a lot one direction or rolls a lot the other direction. And it can very be true to, to get the robot to, you know if if the enemy team is, is, is nearing your final point, the robot has to run all the way back to your point and then start pushing. And it's a whole thing, it's sort of a slow to thing there. It's also a weird interaction with the respawns. If you are very close to your team um, or the enemy team reaching the midway point or they're just past the midway point and you fight and that robot crosses that midway point again, um, if you have captured the um, second point, the, like the first point, not the midpoint, mm -hmm. it will respawn anybody who is currently dead. So if one person is stalling on the enemy team from a previous team fight near that, kill them, and they cr it cross crosses that midpoint and they lose their forward spawn, mm -hmm. the, their entire team will be respawned. There's just a lot of weird interactions with the map. doesn't seem fully thought, uh, thought through. Uh, yeah, you, you can say that again about so many Blizzard things. <laughs> That's very true. played World of Warcraft religiously for years. And... Oh. Yeah. It's very true. I, you know, I, I hit Diamond Three and Hearthstone this past season, the April season, and uh, you know, I'm I'm a rogue and a uh, rogue and warlock player, and so I, you know, I sort of flex between. You know, I have a very strong, you know, Renathal Reno ETC control deck. It's like you know, forty four cards or whatever that runs sure. Symphony of Sins. And, you know, it's, it takes twenty minutes to play one game, and then Pirate Rogue, which takes ninety seconds. Like you know, optimistic. It's true. And so, you know, most of my games were literally just like, play hand, enter, play hand, enter, and then just hit them in the face, versus like, well, do I want to like, drain soul this, or unstable shadow bolt that, or, you know, whole like, mind game thing. And so it's very, uh... I feel like that's how a lot of trading card games kind of break down into, is people get bored, and the game gets stale with a single play style, so they try and mix it up, but balancing the two different play styles is a difficult task. No, it's, I mean, it's a catastrophe right now, at least in, in Hearthstone Wild. Um, Hearthstone Standard right now feels feels very healthy. Entering Coliseo. Entering what now? Coliseo, the map that we're on, the push map. Naturally. A map I've never heard of. Uh, Roman, I like the Roman decor. I like the, the Julius Caesar map. We did swap out, uh, I do want to quickly mention, we did swap out Pink Nightmare for uh, Cosmic Swarm. We put Soapy Hat on top. Interesting. So Swarm is sitting out this game? Yes. I see that. 
this map is a pr is pretty dominant for dive um, push maps being able to take that forward space while one pu person pushes the bot because the bot doesn't move any faster if you have multiple people on it um, at least when it is running to and from points like in the mid ground okay. so being able to have a highly mobile team to take that front space which is what we're doing with the Kiriko, Lucio, Sojourn and Winston and Apex most of the time will probably be following the bot to the next objective and then meeting the team for the brawl so they're just, they're going to be diving as deep as they can, trying to kill them, and then using the snow girl to just, you know, get picks. I will say there is a bit of a synergy between a May and a Winston, or a dive tank of any kind. Just, if you put that May wall down in the wrong spot, you know, you separate your tank from all of your team. Sure, I would fully understand that. Um, immediately, we're, we're seeing the bubble coming down, the bubble, you know, able to unlock it. Fighting over this robot very, very intensely. Any team does have the Reinhardts. Uh, I think it's more or less going to be a game to see who can get the first pick here. And the answer is going to be the enemy team with two picks. Uh, one down on DPS, one down on tank, the other down on DPS, which is the two supports for the team. We're already making swaps um, off of the Lucio to the Mercy. Uh, she might have just been Lucio at the very start to give us that extra speed boost right at the beginning. Swapping over to the Cassidy, I'd like to see the Winston swap to a more frontline tank. Sure. Very understandable. The, the May Wall has come down here. Oh, we've seen a lot of damage. There's the Earth Shatter very early. Quadruple kill. The entire team eliminated. Reinhardt just able to swing his hammer into three of us consistently at the beginning of the game allows him to charge his ult way too fast. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was, that was an incredible shot. We are making a choice here to not run a front shield to try and opt to displace them to get picks. Sure, we've got, we got the hog up instead, instead of like, you know, something like a Sigma, which is, I think, uh, going to be valuable. That's a checkpoint for the enemy team. Uh, interesting attack. There's, there's the enemy team's mails come down. Uh, and there's, there's our... All right, yep, there, there's our, our Reinhardt getting, I mean, no, no, Roadhog getting pushed back to play hard. The Roadhog very interesting pick getting, you know, walled off there. Bit of a, bit of a dicey position here. May almost falling, however, getting picked out here. The enemy team picking up Genji. Enemy team running right now, Lucio, Moira, Reinhardt, Genji. Okay. Here's the High Noon come down, getting that, you know, very decisive pick on the ladder. Robots rounding the corner right here. There's the, the uh, Genji sword. Uh, just doing a lot of damage. There's the shatter come down. I believe there was a Q down for Lucio as well. Correct. Uh, and there's a, you know, enemy team pushing quite aggressively. Straight into Their team having that Lucio enables the Reinhardt to just be mu much more mobile than the rest of our team. Sure. Uh, the, the, the males here, you know, very influential. It was to be quite a bit here, but it's, it's unclear if it's going to be enough. I don't like think it will on. be, no. And that's, uh, is that round one, or is that, is that it? That is, that is the map done. Wow. That is 4-0, which I believe in a best of seven, that is the final, correct? That is indeed the, the finale. Let me watch the, watch the play of the game here really quickly. Can we, uh, can we... Reinhardt, sort of see what happened here. He's got the Earth Shatter up. They all line up directly uh, and, and with a combination of the, the May and the, the Reinhardt able to get a kill. I mean, you know, big credit out to Choco there. Um, you know, absolutely. I think for a first season for OWU, I think we did wonderful. I really do. Absolutely, you know, a massive credit to uh, our team this season. Um, you know, huge, huge credit where credit is due. Um, they, they only lost two games this season, this, this being the second one. Um, Correct. You know, this was, you know, it was, it was a delightful season to cast, and it was a delightful season to watch and watch them, them play and, and learn a lot about a game I, I never thought that I would, uh, I would know too much about, to be honest. I do appreciate you stepping up and, uh, you know, offering to cast and do this for them. Look, I mean, of course, I mean, a, you know, big shout out to you, especially to, you know, for, You've been the, the biggest boon for all of them. Of 
uh, of, of helping them through through all this, helping them grow as, as players and as people, and you know, it's been it's been a wonderful sight from the sidelines. It's been a ton of fun too, seeing all of their growth, and they're not done yet. That's I yeah. Next season, I'm ready for them to tear it up. It's uh, it's gonna be exciting. Absolutely, um, and all these rumors about nationals and stuff too. So. And we made second, uh, and this team is not going to nationals because I read chat beforehand. So, not going to nationals. Both teams are just congratulating each other on national or qualifying for nationals. Yeah, from what I read, I mean, we can look at the stream, but I believe that the enemy team did not pay dues for nationals, so I don't think they're going. Oh, they're going. They are. Are oh no, th them. Sorry, that's what you were referencing. Are yes. we? Do you know? I have no idea. All right. That's a great I'm going to hop and call with them, kind of get a little bit of a debrief from them. Sure. This was a lot of fun. Looking yeah. forward to doing more with you. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. Thank you so much for everyone who came out to the stream. I mean, this is this is definitely uh, one of the biggest streams we've ever had. I just, you know, I want to give an absolute, a huge, again, round of applause to Twig, uh, to Kyle for, for coaching this season um, and for, for being, you know, administrator over all of this. Uh, and to to our team who absolutely tore it up this season, you know, only losing two games in a very long season in the first, uh, you know, first time the esports program has, has come to fruition. This is our first our first year, um, and so you know they they absolutely you know train their butts off, and this has been you know a, a pleasure to watch. Um, you know, losing in finals means next year we just got to come back, hit them twice as hard, and uh, and absolutely crush it. Um, uh, Vampire Guard, uh, I'm gonna go with, like, three. <laughs> I'm sure I can relay the question to Twig and I can get him to, to answer in the server if you'd like later. Um, but seriously, I do want to just say an absolute shout out to, to the entire team, to everybody who's, who's worked on this season. Um, it's been, it's been a pleasure to watch, it's been a pleasure to cast, it's been a pleasure to, to, to see everything that's happened. Uh, so I will... Uh, if I don't see you over at uh, at twitch.tv slash esports I will see you um, over at next season. This has been a pleasure. See you next time.